Good morning, everyone. It's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today, we're going to continue on with our series where we're going through the basics in the tractor screens. So we'll just get right to it. We're going to start again here with our memo buttons. What those are are buttons that as soon as you shuttle the tractor to forward or to reverse, it automatically goes and defaults to that speed. So presently they're set at 6.2 miles an hour. If you want them different, you touch the box, roll the dial, and you'll get whatever speed you want to engage them. You have to have them turned on that they're orange. Um, what that does is now, as soon as you touch that reverse switch, it's going to automatically 6.2 miles an hour in reverse. You flip it to forward, it's going to go to 1.7. Um, where this would come in, in especially handy is in row crop operations where you have to back up at the end of the row. You don't want to go the same speed as your forward speed. You can set that slower so that you can come out of the row, turn a quarter turn back up and then go back into that same row or into the next row. Um, but that's basically how you engage them when you're not using that you want to have those shut off so that it's doing exactly what you want it to do like when you're doing loader work you're probably not going to use those the next one down is your turbo clutch um, there's very few instances where you're going to turn that off in this video i can't turn it off right now anyways because the tractor's not started so it won't let me it won't let me toggle that switch um, and then the last two buttons that we didn't go through are the minimum and maximum RPM for your engine. Again, touch the box, scroll the dial to the speed that you want, and then what you're gonna do is to engage those, you're gonna use the min and the max here. Um, when you push that min button, then it's going to take this and it's gonna change the color for you to show you that it's engaged. Again, we can't do that because the tractor's not running. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.